Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have uh, sort of a construction site development type of problem. Uh, and here's what the question says. You have been assigned the task of calculating the volume of a 20-foot deep uh, reservoir based on a set of paper plans. The plans contain contours from 0 foot to 20 foot in depth and you have been provided the areas of those contours as measured on paper. Uh, the scale on the plan sheets provided is 1 inch equals 100 foot. Uh, given the data below, what is most nearly the total volume in cubic foot of the reservoir? Alright, so a lot in this. Basically what it's saying is uh, you were given a set of paper plans. On those paper plans you have those contours uh, you're looking at contours. If you don't know what contours is in this problem, I would imagine that I would imagine that a reservoir is almost like a square. And so if we're looking down at the sheet of paper, it's going to look something like this, right? So this would be the zero contour. Uh, this would be the five contour. This would be the ten contour. Uh, we can go on and on. We have, you know, 15 and then the 20 is in the middle there. Uh, let's imagine that's the middle. But uh, basically, we just found the areas of these squares. And that that was measured on the sheet of paper, which is in inches. So when you get, we're going to have to convert that over to cubic feet by using the scale that's provided to us. Hopefully, that makes sense there. Uh, so we're going to erase this. And essentially, if you're looking in 3D, here's contours, here's what it means. You have your surface, and then you kind of have sort of your reservoir, and then you have your surface back again. So we have a hole in the ground, right? And every this would be contour zero. Uh, and if we were to draw sort of an imaginary line at depth, let's see, five, uh, we're, we're looking at something like this, right? This would be five feet vertical five foot and then we have another five foot and so on until you reach depth 20 so this would be 20 feet from the surface does that make sense uh, so that's what that is I'm going to erase this so that way I can solve for the for the problem all right so the first step to this is let's find a formula that works for us we're going to be looking in the PE manual and it's going to be in section 2.1.2 on page 49 and this is version 1.1 of the PE manual so uh, when you look on that we're gonna find the average end method volume is equal to L which is your length between uh, contours so really your depth contours we have five feet here five feet here five foot here so on that's your L uh, we're gonna be multiplying that by the different areas so a1 plus a2 so that's the areas of your contours uh, divided by 2 and that is the formula that we're going to be using so I'm going to move this over into some white space and we're going to use that table to our advantage all right there we go so now we need to find the volume between contours 0 and 5 5 and 10 10 and 15 15 and 20 uh, and the way that we're going to do that is use that formula that we just had well uh, when we do that, from contour zero to five, you should end up with you should end up with a formula that looks a little bit like this. Uh, we're gonna have to go with five foot in length times our areas. Well, our areas are in inches squared, so we need to multiply that by our scale squared. Okay, so we're gonna have area one to fifteen inches squared plus area 2 which is 170 inches squared we need to multiply that by our uh, scale so basically we have um, 100 foot per every one inch and so now our inches are going to cancel out if we square that guy notice that and then we need to divide that by 2 all right so when you do that, you should end up with 9625000, zero, 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 and that is cubic foot. So this is from 0 to 5, and then we need to solve for the volume from 5 to 10, and then the volume from 10 to 15, 
and then the volume from 15 to 20 ends up being 1375000 cubic foot. All right, and so now we need to add all of those volumes up to get our total volume of our uh, reservoir. And so, hey, while I've got you here, if you've already enrolled in one of the review courses at civilengineeringacademy.com, keep it up. You can do this. If you haven't, I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources to help you pass your PE exam the first time. And so with that said, Whenever you add all of these guys up, the volumes, you should end up with 21,875,000 cubic foot. And if you're curious if this is reasonable, if we're going to convert that over to cubic yards, it ends up being about 810,185 cubic yards. So pretty realistic for a 20 foot deep uh, reservoir. And I mean, if you think about it, 215 inches squared with a scale of one inch to a hundred foot, that's a pretty big contour. Um, and so, yeah, this is a realistic problem. We have a massive reservoir. Uh, the answer ends up being C. And so, hey, I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time.